Brett, how certain are you of the fact that the virus emerged from a laboratory setting and not from the wet markets as we were told originally? Well, even the Chinese say it's not the wet market at this point. So nobody thinks it's the wet market. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know they'd reversed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's not the wet market. That yeah. that much we know. Yeah. Um, so you should you should watch the Brett's conversation with Yuri Dagan. Dagan. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I will say, there's been a bunch of stuff that I'm eager to cover since we talked a lot about COVID, and I talked with Yuri. Another lab leak hypothesis emerged this week, which I found fascinating. I think it's crazy, but another version. Uh, emerged a very good paper, um, which argues that the missing period of time, that is to say the time when the virus would have evolved to get good at infecting humans, which is absent from our current time series, and conspicuously so, their claim is, or it's a hypothesis, it's well presented, the hypothesis is that that period of time was accelerated and took place depending upon how you read the paper, either in the lungs of one of the six miners who got infected in Yunnan in 2012, uh, or conceivably, I guess it could have gone from one miner to another, but it can't have been more than a couple of them. Um, but the idea is that this long period of time of evolution or this long sequence of evolutionary steps that we would expect to see took place in the lungs of these miners, which would have been an odd place for a coronavirus to be, which would have accelerated the rate of change, and that basically a tissue sample from one of these miners made it to Wuhan, which is why it emerges there at the Wuhan Institute or on its doorstep, because that tissue escaped. So the point is natural virus intermediate as a human, and it then gets transported to Wuhan where it accidentally escapes. I think this is nuts. I, I can't imagine that this is the right explanation, but let's put it this way. A, we a are, plausible alternative lab escape hypothesis is now also circulating. It belongs on the map of yeah. various possible hypotheses. And what I would say is the number of people who are now carefully ready to explore the idea of lab leak gain of function, this landscape is growing and it's about time. So... Um, that's good. The question was, how certain am I? Not certain, but I would say at this point, I would say 90% chance is conservative. I think the chances are very high it emerged from a lab and also very high that it was enhanced in that lab. Um, and then the last part of the question was, oh, the yeah, not the wet market. 